In this food adventure, I'm attempting to finish this giant pizza challenge here at Rizzy's Cafe in Paradise Pub in Arlington, Tennessee, where teams of two have 45 minutes to finish this 28 inch, 11 pound pizza. You also have to choose two toppings with your pizza. And in this case, we went with ham and green peppers. And by we, I meant myself and my eating partner, who also happens to be my eternal eating rival, Eager Ethan, as we'd be joining forces to try to take down this colossal pizza challenge. An alliance? An alliance. Which, if we could do so, we'd get the $50 meal for free, we'd also get shirts, our pictures up on their wall of fame, and $50 gift cards. So I suited up once again in my traditional pizza eating hoodie, locked in my musical tunes, and prepared for this pizza eating feast. And let the battle begin, as we both just dive right in, not wasting any time, grabbing a hot slice of pizza, then going to town and sending it down. And when I looked up and I saw Ethan devour his first slice and immediately start manhandling the next one, I knew he meant business. And he was feeling particularly eager today. I wanted to see if we could beat the current record of 20 minutes and 23 seconds. Perhaps he's looking for a little redemption from our previous Team Pizza Challenge. Looking to plow through this pizza by making some sandwiches, which by the way, it was love at first bite with this one. It tasted great. Had a nice balance of ingredients, obviously I enjoyed the green peppers and the ham, and I probably would have added them even if they weren't required for the challenge, just to add a bit more flavor and texture to an already fabulous pizza. And if it was up to you, what two toppings would you choose? Let me know in the comments down below. Now having devoured several slices, it's official. I'm giving this the thumbs up seal of approval. Each slice continues to be as good as the previous one. I particularly enjoyed the softer crust in the undercarriage. They complemented the melted cheese and sauce very well. And of course the added textures from the ham and the green peppers made every bite so satisfying. As far as this unholy alliance goes for this team pizza challenge, which by the way, that was actually the name we went with when we signed the waivers, the unholy alliance. And while we're technically still a team, as rivals, we're also engaging in a friendly, yet not so friendly, competitive eating contest. In this case, to see who could finish their half of the pizza first, which only helped push us to take this pizza down even faster. Man, we are on a roll, just absolutely dominating this pizza challenge. Even Eager Ethan is getting in on some of that pizza sandwich action. And he's also keeping pretty clean about it too. Definitely not the typical eating behavior fitting for some of his other nicknames, such as the Putrid Filthmonger, or the Venomous Swine, or even some of the fan created names such as the Ghastly Guzzler and the Matriarch of Mastication, which I kind of like that last one, but I have to say, he's keeping things relatively clean here. We've cleared a big chunk of this pizza pie, 
But now, this is where the real work begins. Because getting through the inside slices, that's easy. But the outer slices, with loads of that chewier crust, can often prove to be more difficult, as it was in this case. While this pizza crust was a bit softer, it still had a bit of that firmness and structure to it, which is something you would want normally, so there's just not that massive pizza flop. But for the sake of this challenge, it's just gonna take a little bit more time to chew. So in order to make things easier on my jaw, I use my thumbs to press down on that crust and soften it up a bit. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident, knowing that we are both on a great pizza eating pace. But don't forget, the flames of our rivalry continue to blaze, as I look to beat Ethan on our little game of who can finish their half of the pizza first. So, while it is technically a team challenge overall, it's still a fierce, food fighting, eating competition between us rivals. As I reach over to happily snag a slice of Ethan's pizza, it seals the deal. As I claim victory in this competitive eating showdown, don't get me wrong, I'm all about that teamwork makes a dream work life, but this was certainly a nice cherry on top to an amazing food adventure. Oh, you gotta get a little tiny glass for that. Man, come on, what are you doing? 